Hi all, in this video I'm going to show you the various ways you can use breakout rooms, including how you can use them to make a waiting room of sorts for your office hours and have private office hours. First though, let's see where breakout rooms are. We're going to click the purple icon near the bottom right of the screen to open the, our Collaborate panel, and then we want the box with the arrow in it to get to the share content area. And since I'm so zoomed in, we're going to scroll down to breakout groups under interact. So when I click into breakout groups, there's a few options right off the bat. Let's first explore the so-called random assignment. This is splitting students into small rooms where they can go, think, talk to each other. They get the same permissions as a presenter so they can share files, draw on the whiteboard, and use audio video to actually collaborate with each other. If you want, you can include moderators. In my case, I'm not going to bother. And I can make as many groups as at least having two people per room. In this case, I've added four fake students, so I can only have two groups. If I add 10 students in a room, I can have up to five groups or as little as two groups. They want you to have at least two people in each room, which makes sense if you're gonna have collaboration. You could allow attendees to switch groups. We'll talk about why you might wanna consider that for a later use case. And I can shuffle attendees. So why would that be useful? Well, maybe I look at this group and see Mark and Mark three really shouldn't be working together. So maybe I'll shuffle the attendees to mix it up of course, shuffling, since it's such a small group, actually kept them the same group, so it didn't help me in this case. I could shuffle again. And again. Finally, there we go. Now, when I'm ready, I will click the Start button. This will send the students into the small rooms and actually be able to, again, start collaborating with each other. Now, what happens in the breakout rooms is not recorded if you are recording your session. Also, you're not seeing what's going on in the breakout rooms unless you decide to go visit them. To do that, you click into the attendees panel, which is the one with the people, two people in it, and then the number of people in your session. And what I'll do is go and I can see there's group one, group two. Beside the group, it looks like a green arrow pointing at a door, which kind of is what it is. It'll let me join this group. When I click that, I will start moving over to that group. The students will get a pop-up saying I'm joining the group and now I'll be able to see and hear everything they're doing. And it's worth noting each group does have its own private chat area. If the students ever need to get your attention, let's say something's going wrong, what they can do is click out of the group chat back to the everyone chat and give you a message saying, hey, we need help in group one, let's say. Now, if I'm done with the breakout groups, what I can do is go back to the share content, back to breakout groups, and as always, there should be a circle with a square inside of it to stop something. So to stop breakout groups, I'm gonna click that. 